वेलकम टू ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड वीकेंड आर्ट माय नेम इज गौरव नाम तो सुना होगा नाउ द फर्स्ट स्टोरी ऑन द शो टुडे इज एक्चुअली अबाउट एन एंशिएंट फोक ट्रेडिशन दैट यूज्ड टू हैपन इन द विलेजेस ऑफ चाइना इट स्टिल कंटीन्यूज टू हैपन बट नाउ इट्स बिकम अ मॉडर्न डे स्पोर्ट एंड इट्स कॉल्ड ड्रैगन बोटिंग यू नो दिस इज वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर नॉट ओनली इन चाइना बट इन अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एज वेल स्पेशली दुबई बट जस्ट इन केस यू आर वन ऑफ दोस फ्यू अनइनिशिएटेड पीपल हु आर थिंकिंग ड्रैगन बोट आई हैव हर्ड अबाउट इट आई डोंट नो व्हाट इट इज वेल वी वर अ टीम ऑफ मेन एंड वुमेन लेड बाय कोच निकी एंड हियर्स व्हाट दे हैव टू से about it Dragon boating started off in in China in China it's an old Chinese sport then obviously and that started 2000 years ago you know they've got races everywhere it's really it's just growing so much it's good that it's here in Dubai Dragon boating is a thrilling, exciting water sport where 20 people get together in a boat and they race 20 other people from a whole bunch of different places. So, dragon boating is one of the fastest growing water sports around the globe at the moment. It's exciting, brings everybody out. You wake up early in the morning and go to training. It's a great, great sport to be part of. So, I decided with my personal training background that I can do this. and I took on a team and I started coaching um and Barracudas is now my own team and this year I've decided besides just training women I've decided to do a mixed team as well so bring the guys in Nikki our coach makes us do six or seven of those which believe me is uh, is very hard work but it's a great way to prepare for the co- the upcoming competition the coach tra- train us to do the 500 we do a 200 as well and we do, we train for the 2k team is training hard and we're all making our training sessions you're just using every part of your body you've got to have a good strong core for it uh, a lot of the power comes from your legs dragon boating is not just about fitness it's mental fitness as well Over the weekend we've had about 80 teams competing. Several of those teams are from international places and uh, most of the teams are regional teams. I've been a paddler for more than 20 years and when I came to the UA and there was an opportunity to do dragon boating, unlike being a solo c- canoeist, you get the opportunity to share that experience with 20 of your mates. The great thing about dragon boating is it's inclusive. Anybody can do it. Doesn't matter what your fitness level is as long as you're healthy. Doesn't matter what your ethnicity is, your nationality, your gender. Everybody's welcome and it's a very unthreatening inclusive environment for everybody. The level of racing has really cranked up in the last year. The teams are getting super super competitive now. and being in the fitness industry it's i feel it's my job to encourage people to come out and get fit and be healthy um so and it's great to meet people from everywhere because you get to learn about different countries and different cultures This year the dragon boating competition was held at the Shangri-La Hotel in Abu Dhabi and saw a huge turnout of enthusiastic dragon boaters and international teams Dragon boating is the fastest growing aquatic sport in the world and an exciting sport that epitomizes team spirit. 